Whenever you bring up Venezuela, they always say, ah, that's not the socialism we mean. Well, let's talk about what you know is happening in Venezuela, which is, in fact, socialist. That's what it is. That's what this country would look like if we gave into that. What, you still have family there. You still have friends there. What are you right. hearing? It's not getting better, is it? It's not getting better. And it, as a matter of fact, you know, I just heard from my cousin and he said, you know, Debbie, you know, we're losing hope. Um, we, we absolutely just don't we don't trust um, the, the right, the political party that's on the right. We don't trust the political parties that's on the left. Uh, we don't really trust anyone. And so uh, they are still left with um, a horrific uh, situation in Venezuela where, where the infrastructure has fallen apart. Uh, this was a very wealthy country, as you know, yeah. and and now people are eating garbage and, and uh, they're very, very uh, poor and uh, very, uh, I think that they, they really feel like like the the world has just forgotten them and uh in a way i feel like america has forgotten them because for the last i don't know couple of months that we've been talking where uh guaido stepped up you know to try to right. to get the regime to leave uh this hasn't happened yet as a matter of fact yesterday uh, a naval officer by the name of rafael acosta was murdered mm -hmm. he was uh tortured and he uh he died in a in a tribunal um court that he was he was appearing in court and he collapsed and died uh, obviously from injuries sustained during torture um, this this has gone on and um, you know Russia meanwhile Russia is still there Iran is well, still I was, there I was gonna, I was gonna ask you uh, is your family or your, your cousins are your people seeing incursion from Russia and from Iran is there a real presence that's palpable in that country right now and and what are they staying to gain are they trying to get control of Venezuelan oil why are they there Oh, absolutely. They see it. They see them all over. Um, yes. Well, I, I think that um, Iran actually wants their their uranium. Okay. Uh, they are not going to stop until they have a nuke. And, and I believe Venezuela is just such a strategically better place for them to have yeah. one, right. um, along with the, um, the the enriched uranium that is just so plentiful in Venezuela. So I think that's what Iran is there for. They have Hezbollah camps all over as well. Um, they even have infiltration within the regime yeah. uh, of yeah. Iranians. Um, and then Russia is there for other reasons, probably oil. Um, also, maybe strategically for, well, it is, for it's nuclear a, it's weapons. An, yeah, it's an important geographically strategic place. It's pretty close to us in it's, comparison to where Russia is. Well, one, one last question, just so the people watching and listening understand it. It's Debbie D'Souza, originally from Venezuela and certainly still in contact uh, every day. Um, Venezuela is like this because the government took everything over, right? That That's why this happened. When it was private enterprise, it was a great place. Right. Um, they they did. The the government decided that they were better at handling things than, than the actual um, uh, business owners. So not only did they nationalize industry, the oil industry and banks, yeah. but they also took over small businesses and entrepreneurs. And they left Venezuela because they couldn't deal with the price controls that were thrown upon them. Uh, so, so Venezuela has let really the 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 wealthier people of Venezuela have left Venezuela. So, what you used what was once the middle class in Venezuela is now extremely poor. Yeah. My aunt, who who once had uh, quite a bit of money, now depends on me to send her money. So, it, it's just socialism doesn't work, and I we and I think Venezuela is just such a great example. Of of that of that very fact. So if anybody wants to wants to look to see what what does Venezuela actually represent, it represents a society that was once prosperous, that had an election that was democratic, and now is just falling apart.